I knew I was a scientist by the time I was age about three and a half. Those were the 60s, so we have the era of the Apollo missions and the Soviet missions into orbit the space, the space race, and I guess that sets a little child's imagination. So I set out exploring the world when I was very little, and, and even the word experiment used to be able to send little shivers down my spine. I worked on uh, physics with chemical engineering in the, uh, the polymer plastics world. I'm currently now teaming up with uh, biologists and looking at the physics of life, physics within, within the cells. I think that doing science is every bit as human and deeply cultural as um, writing plays, uh, writing on cave walls, painting pictures that make us human. And for many years I wanted to explore that and, and that's what makes the interdisciplinary context so precious. And where there are artificial fractures in the academic world, I like to heal them. So one of those is the science and faith nexus. For the last 20 years, I've been working with theologians, biblical scholars, historians, scientists, in trying to explore new ways of articulating what science means, not as a threat to the church, but as God's gift to humanity. People might have said that actually, well, uh, going to study in a Catholic, say, institution would be constraining because one has to work within boundaries. On the contrary, I say, I think it's freeing um, because we're encouraged as visiting fellows at the IAS to, to think explicitly in theological ways about our topics. Well, my project here has been about creativity and, and a com comparison of creativity in the arts, the humanities and the sciences. It dawned to me that what the scientific community call the scientific method is only really the second half of a full scientific method. We, we're very good at teaching our students how to test hypotheses. There's nothing out there that might help lead us to uh, uh, innovating, imagining better ideas in the first place. Scientists are very quiet about that. On the other hand, creative artists are, are typically rather vocal about their inspiration. It's a mystery as to how the new human mind brings uh, new things from apparently nothing, or perhaps by connecting old, old things. The most creative people are those who give their minds experience, open their minds to distant ideas and structures, then give those ideas the chance to percolate deeply, begin to entangle with their central problems, and then lead them on to really fresh solutions. The Notre Dame Institute for Advanced Study is an ideal opportunity for a physicist uh, like me. Um, to participate in activities thinking deeply with other scholars from different disciplines that teach me not only about my own discipline and give me ideas within physics in fresh ways, but also begin to expand a vision of the academic project that sees how my own discipline fits into the unity of knowledge.